Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video on this small fancy feast type stove. Uh, this is one where I, before I used a cat food can and a tomato paste can with a carbon wick between them, made a nice little stove. Anyway, I showed how I, you could make a smaller one of it, and I had happened to use a can that had holes already popped into it, and I wanted to show how it was kind of a strange thing. The uh, jets came out of here as it heated up, and I really didn't think that would happen, but it, it made for a nice little boil. So from that video, I got a comment from Old Timer Lee, where Old Timer Lee said, would love to see the fancy feast stove with jets. Been following this particular stove with interest for a group mission project. Uh, emergency kits to give out to the community when storms take out the power for days and to families who lose power due to hardship. Must be easy for volunteers to build from readily available and relatively inexpensive materials. Also would be open to suggestions if another version of stove would be better would better serve this purpose. Well, the one thing uh, what old timer Lee's asking, I think maybe a super cat stove would be better. Again, it's made with the cat food can, but then you just punch holes in it using a regular paper punch. I mean, you can't get much easier than that. It's not the world's best stove as far as using alcohol and stuff, but for something easy to use and very cheap to make, you can't beat this. Now, there's a bunch of videos out on how to make these that you can find, but if you want, I can show you how we do this. So anyway, that's my suggestion. But what I am going to do today is follow with it. Old Timer Lee and several others had asked to see the fancy feast stove with the jets put in it. So what I did was I took the cat food can that was on this, popped that off, and put another cat food can on where I punched in 15 jets about, I think that was 3 eighths of an inch down from the top of the burner. The jets are about 50 thousandths of an inch in diameter. That was with another little punch I got. I don't know if you can see the point there, but it's a very small point. Or you can just take these and drill them with a small drill. So I'm going to try this today, see what it does. Let me get my alcohol prepped, my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. I've got one fluid ounce of methanol in here. Let me go to camera two. Okay, we light it. Looks like it could actually have been soaking a little bit longer. Come on. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Oh, hang on. Got to wait until the jets start. See how long it takes with this one. Okay, I'm going to break here. I'll come back when the jets come on. Okay, we're 29 seconds into it being lit. The jets are on now. Not exactly pretty jets, but remember these were just punched, not drilled. So let's see where it goes from here. We're now at the two minute mark. The temperature is up to 124 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, this is a fairly large flame. Uh, looking at it, I think most of the flame is out of the jets. It's hard to tell. I guess there is some coming out of the uh, carbon felt on the top. But I'm really looking forward to playing with this in the snow when it's cold outside. Right now, it's... it's uh, 84 degrees, about 82 percent humidity. It's wet, it's raining outside, so this is going to affect the test a little bit. But I'm looking forward to playing with this in the winter. In the winter, it's a little hard to get jets like this uh, lit right away, but this having the carbon felt started up in the, in the inside and then having the jets come out and make a bigger flame could be handy. 
So let's just see where it goes from here. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 and 4 minutes 24 seconds. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 4 minutes 24 seconds. So let's see how long it takes for run out now. Okay, not really much of a need for waiting for it to run out. I've just got the one flame coming out on my uh, vent hole on the inner can. And it's going, going. Okay, let's say gone at 520. 5 minutes 20 seconds for run out. Well, that was pretty fast. Let me take this off. You can see there's just still some couple of fumes on the inside. Still going. I don't know if you can see that. No, it just ran out. Okay, let's see here. On the first one that I did with this without the jet holes, it took 5 minutes and 13 seconds for two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to come to a boil and then it ran out in 9 minutes. This time uh, two cups of water 60 degrees came to a boil in 4 minutes 24 seconds but then ran out right away at 5 minutes 20. So a little bit faster boil almost a minute faster but then of course it ran out that much faster. But then again, the whole idea about this was that I was going to be able to put more alcohol in here. Uh, the one fluid ounce in here is hardly anything in the bottom of the, the stove. So this should, should work pretty good with uh, melting snow and ice come winter. So I hope that helps. That was, uh, well, a couple of people asked for that. Old timer Lee asked to see what it looked like with the jets. And if this would be a good stove for emergency kits, like I said, check out the Super Cat stoves. This is one I got from Colorado Camper. Uh, handy little stoves, very, very easy to make and cheap. But I hope that helps. I thank you for watching. Man, it's hot in here. Uh, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, Watch for my buddy Max. He's inside in the air conditioning. Bye now.